Hello and welcome to LibreGraphics Meeting. My name is Pedro and I'm really happy to be here even if just remotely with you. Now you see uh, on the screen, I'm a graphic designer. Um, during my free time, I like to have some side little projects of mine. Also, I do some workshop uh, teaching, namely Inkscape and other graphic tools here in the city of Prague. And in today's talk, how you can integrate others in your own workflow using Collabra Office and Collabra Online. I do work at Collabra Productivity, which is one of the departments uh, at Collabra, a place where really cool things happen from uh, VR to games. Um, and I do recommend you to, to check in our specific uh, department, Collabra Productivity, we focus on productivity software, uh, meaning office tools, while being one of the biggest contrib contributors of the LibreOffice project. Uh, in today's presentation, I will be demonstrating how we, we usually work between designers, marketeers, developers, and I will be doing so uh, by going through three different types of situations that you might end up in. Hopefully, this will help you improve the way you work. Of course, before I get into that, I want to go through the tools we will be using to illustrate all this. So, Collabra Office is the supported version of the Libra Office, where you get official support, guidance, development, and also solutions to any problem you might have, be that migration, feature request, or just in general, long-term support. Now, the cool thing about this is that all of the development, soon or later, ends up being merged to the upstream project and thus creating a very synergetic relation between people, partners, customers and communities. Collabra Online, powerful online suite based on LibreOffice that supports all major document formats which you can integrate in your own infrastructure. It allows collaborative editing and excellent office file format support, you know, from ODF to MES formats. All this uh, with one uh, goal in mind to make open source rock. So, as I was saying, uh, Collabra uh, is actually the driving force behind putting LibreOffice in the cloud. Um, and this is quite visible uh, by checking not, not only, uh, of course, our slides, all this information is really nice, but to, to see. Uh, real numbers, right? To see real uh, commits um, done by us. And we um, recently released our uh, continuous integration uh, and made it uh, public, right? So right now, uh, by accessing the first link, you will be um, you will be transported to the uh, to our CI, to our Jenkins public uh, CI, where you can see, um, you know, when you, where you can see uh, our builds, failed builds, successful builds, what's the problem, and hopefully it helps uh, to bring more people uh, to the open source side and even uh, develop and, and help, help uh, us and help you creating a, a better tool. Uh, the, the, the second link uh, is basically a blog about it where it, it goes through uh, all these details. Um, now, um, as I told you, uh, I'm going through different types of situations uh, illustrating how you can use uh, these office tools um, to your advantage. So, um, let's imagine you need to create an icon, an asset, um, you know, it can be a, an element in a toll bar, a button. Uh, for now, uh, let's uh, imagine that you need to um, do this while uh, discussing and while talking uh, with a team uh, compounded by many people. Uh, let's suppose, uh, you know, a developer that will probably use the, that element. 
uh, maybe a marketeer that might want to uh, update or give their input regarding branding and uh, possibly uh, your user uh, or even customer, right? Uh, and for this, let's suppose we uh, need to uh, create a slider, a slider element. Yeah, so uh, this slider element uh, needs to communicate, uh, you need to communicate this to the team. You know, there is this new, uh, new requirement uh, and you have this icon and you want to, you want to share. Uh, you, want to get, uh, you want to get written and visual feedback, right, from the team and even between each other and you you want to collaborate so it's not just a one-way uh, direction but it should be bi-directional multi-directional even uh, and we should iterate and probably improve uh, upon um, so uh, and now we, we, we reach this point uh, of fiction versus reality right you could probably, uh, and maybe the easiest solution would be just to send uh, an image or a document, uh, a final document like be that a PNG, a PDF, etc. And that's it. Unfortunately, fiction uh, it doesn't uh, equal reality, right? So, so while uh, you will be sending this one document to your, to your team, um, actually, your team would probably uh, reply in this manner, meaning that you would be receiving uh, many answers, multiple answers, multiple feedbacks um, at once, and it will be very chaotic for you, right? And those feedbacks would, would, um, would come in many forms, right? Uh, right from uh, chaotic emails, private message, uh, maybe uh, chatting with you um, in, the, in the chatting uh, program that your company uses, or uh, SMS, or, um, you know, I don't know, you, you name it, right? Uh, also some, some very um, different uh, feedback, right? From small notes to notes that are actually part of an image, so like screenshot, screenshots with some arrows like you know and then suddenly maybe maybe some of those some of those um, colleagues of of yours would already talk with you directly uh, through a call so now you have these minutes to write to type it down to write it down so you know and then possibly many misunderstandings and now you need to fix these misunderstandings so probably uh, we could uh, do it in a slightly better way and that's uh, how what I wanted to illustrate for instance with this workflow uh, number one right uh, so basically something that they already know uh, or that they, that you know that something that is similar of something they already know uh, but that has all these extra benefits from uh, online uh, collaborative editing iterations uh, iteration and 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 I think uh, this is a very good argument to make be between using uh, office tools uh, as a bridge between team members instead of just relying in poor communication in poor communication in, in different communication channels and instead utilizing the office uh, office suite um, in this case uh, collabora uh, collabora office in uh, coordination with Collabra Online, and here we see uh, Collabra uh, Office. You know where you can com you can comment and Collabra Online, right? Uh, which le which is the tool that everyone already knows, right? Office tools, all the uh, uh, or many of the advanced um, options uh, that that your colleagues already know, with the added value of um, collaboration and now even with these new uh, possibilities in the mobile field right uh, we do have a on, we do have a free uh, android and ios app and of course give us feedback um, now back to our workflow you are a designer you want to design that uh, that um, 
that element you just finished uh, designing uh, in your um, your in your favorite tool and um, the cool thing about using uh, Colabra Office and Colabra Online um, as a bridge and as a, as, a, as a way to mediate communication is that without you without you doing uh, nothing else without exporting you can simply copy paste that element inside of um, impress for instance or even a drag and drop inside of impress just like that uh, and you have um, the SVG uh, there now this gives a couple of um, advantages because now you have a document uh, that can of course document the progress uh, on that discussion and on that specific element and you have all the possibilities of commenting revisioning uh, and even um, tracking changes this is a little uh, very interesting tip uh, you can when you have a, a, an SVG in your uh, Impress, you can always decide uh, if you want that uh, element to be treated as an image or if you actually want that element, that SVG, to be treated as exactly vector. Yeah, so if you do that, it means that later you, you and the others sharing that document will be able to change uh, the color and even the elements of that icon without the need to install extra tools that they might know. So, for instance, your marketeer might not be comfortable uh, or even know nothing about um, some vector graphics tool like Inkscape but it might already know and have quite the experience with office tools so why not use something that they already know um, at least as, as this intermediary uh, step so for instance here you would add notes right uh, you know like basically contextualize the element why it was requested what was the situation there uh, possibly even re reference uh, some user story that would be uh, related to and this work can now be extended online and now even adding um, content right so for instance now your marketing you share this uh, with your uh, with your colleague that works in the marketing department and now that that person is already adding context to this element right maybe some uh, some some first slide as an introduction that will be also helpful for the other team members um, maybe you come along and say ah wait i also forgot to to mention what's the name convention that this icon will have um, and all these happening online uh, right uh, again more team team members adding missing pieces right so now we, you you can even you you maybe you have um uh, the person that is responsible for uh, copywriting and now he comes here uh, for, for the content and now he comes here uh, and that those those people are really into uh, advanced features in the office so they might want to treat, to you know tweak some paragraph styles they might want to tweak some uh, spacements there and yeah and and not only paragraphs bullet numbering like all these advanced features are available and the discussion keeps on going right the discussion we keep track of that conversation right we we see now a comment regarding specific slides we can modify it we can reply to them and you remember uh, that tip I, I gave you a, a minute ago uh, that you can choose how the the, the asset can be interpreted uh, by in this case in press if you do so uh, and if you uh, if you if you convert it to uh, to be interpreted as a vector and you can edit in place that SVG and you can do this right there and versioning right it allows uh, again an awesome uh, argument to, to make uh, to use uh, these tools as a bridge between the the team members is that you can have all this documentation all this uh, progress documented while having these extra features like for instance the um, uh, history the versions history and not only this is available but this is uh, very well integrated with uh, many of our uh, partners right uh, for instance next cloud on cloud uh, it's it can be really full integrated with your own uh, cloud and for instance, this is an example of those uh, of that versioning um, happening, right? You can not only see the list, but even preview it. 
small asset, an icon, that icon suddenly after discussion might need some more um, states. Um, other, uh, other team members want to, uh, to jump in and contribute with the documentation. Uh, they can do everything can happen within that document um, and you know all this work in parallel right uh, without no one waiting for for the other team member no one blocking that's it now second uh, workflow imagine um, in here is slightly different in here we are talking about uh, minutes talks right so so <clears throat> something as this uh, as, as is happening now and you know you need to take notes you want to write it down um, but those should be integrated fully integrated in the in the in the in the tools that it's already uh, being used by the team uh, it should be easy to find in your project or in your um, company uh, we are all suddenly seated around the virtual table and we are all chatting uh, and probably uh, via some kind of software. Uh, let's, let's think about Mattermost, right? And there's already a lot of chatting going on there, very valuable in information there. And we don't want to discard uh, none of that. And when I say Mattermost, it can be any of the other, uh, any, many of the other um, tools and services out there, right? And uh, I'm happy to say that Collabor Online integrates very beautifully with all of these uh, tools and services. So there is already integrations with that. So you can still use this, uh, this nice uh, uh, mediating approach as we discussed in the first workflow without discarding nothing that was already discussed in none of these tools. How? For instance, using the Mattermost example, uh, I just have here for uh, a real conversation that happened between me and Andras Timar, uh, our colleagues, and you see how easy it is. Yeah, maybe there is there is already a document, there is already uh, a discussion going on, and this document was already uh, had been already shared, um, and now it doesn't make sense for us to create a completely different document, or even create a different document without having any way to link it back to the to the chat, right? So, for instance, here is an example. Uh, where we there is already a discussion going on, um, you know, maybe a, a common thread in, in the in the Mattermost, uh, and uh, in between those uh, that common thread, uh, there is someone posting a document, and that that, doc, that document can be previewed and edited uh, even before uh, go even without leaving Mattermost. Where can I get this Collabor Online? How can I test Collabor Online? Uh, how much, um, how much is, is the price? What's the price? What's the requirements? Blah, blah, blah. So uh, we do have a demonstration servers, right? Uh, so you can, just, um, you can just go to our um, web page. Yeah, I actually just uh, place here the, the page. So you can just get our demo servers by going to uh, collaboraoffice.com slash news and you will see all the, the news and if you scroll you will see information about uh, Collabra online demo demonstration servers and how you you know all the information about the requirements uh, you know how uh, it's not really meant to be used in uh, production um, situations right um, and also the list of um, servers that we currently have um, you know and we also have a call to action for uh, any other partner any other hosting partner that wants to uh, be part of this list as well so you will get all uh, these info all these informations how to get a demo server um, and basically the only thing you need to do is that you can, for instance, get more information by going to Collabor Online, read everything, and just press this try the online uh, demo, and you will have access 
to uh, all the demonstration servers so you can even choose the one uh, that is better uh, in terms of your uh, geolocation so with that in mind uh, I also would like to uh, call your attention for many of other things we have in place so again mobile apps are huge I didn't have time uh, to go through them but we do have nice uh, videos um, demonstrating um, you know some cool <laughs> some cool uh, features between uh, our uh, mobile applications and some other uh, googly <laughs> um office suites online so maybe i can just very quickly um show you and we encourage our partners uh, to help us provide demo services hours um there is a big list right we have many partners so it, you might want to check that and that's all and i hope i was clear enough Sorry for any, um, you know, misspoke uh, word, but yeah, I think uh, that's it. So you have here uh, the links where you can find me and thank you for listening. So, oh, thanks, uh, Mark um, and L. Lohang, thanks. And Circular, thanks. <laughs> uh, appreciate it and i also appreciate the you know the constructive critics uh, regarding some of my um you know the way i um the way i pronounced uh, shit i think so that's thanks for it um yeah so just give me a moment I, i'm just going uh, to the questions oh yeah and um yeah before going uh there yeah i need to say thanks uh, I really appreciate uh, all the effort, uh, you know, behind this, this uh, the, the organization of this uh, remotely meeting, especially from uh, uh, Temote. I hope I'm not butchering your uh, name and also uh, Elisa de Castro. So um, let me just go through the questions. <clears throat> yeah, so yes, we are actually many of our uh, integrations uh, we we use them uh, daily, um, so that you know that's nice. So we we eat our own food. So uh, many times we are a little bit um, you know annoyed by some uh, nuisances or or some bugs, and we really want to have them fixed even before anyone um, complains. So so and I think that's that um, helps uh, with uh, you know uh, fueling the the development. Um, <laughs> the Cambridge office, I miss it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just trying to read anything I have uh, missed. Oh, and also, uh, uh, I didn't have time to fit uh, many of the workflows. Yeah, because I, w I went too overboard with it. Um, uh, but I, I think I will upload them anyhow. Um, probably in the in the Collabra uh, productivity uh, YouTube uh, page, which uh, we don't have that many videos because we are too busy <laughs> uh, building uh, cool stuff. But we, we should probably give a little bit more attention to that uh, detail. Um, uh, I'm scrolling back, and uh, I think maybe I ah, wait. I yeah. So. Is Colabra online using Activity Pub for interpret? Ah, sorry, there is one before. Is uh, Colabra Office source code or parts of it integrated into LibreOffice, helping its development? Uh, this is a question from uh, Circular. Yes. Uh, so um, sooner or later, I think, as I said in the in the in the presentation, uh, code gets merged, right? So uh, specifically talking about uh, Colabra Office. Uh, Collabra Office is the supported version of LibreOffice, meaning that um, you know the code is uh, LibreOffice, and every 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 single thing we do, uh, it's towards the LibreOffice project. That's why you see the number of commits and number of contributions. It's towards that uh, project. Um, so, you creating this synergetic relation between communities. Now, 
uh, when I mean supported versions, it, supported version is just that, uh, you know, we have clients that uh, basically um, pay us for, for so we uh, take the, the, the work out of their shoulders. Uh, be that by uh, helping migrating, uh, be that um, because they want, um, you know, s s fixing a specific number of bugs uh, or adjusting something. So uh, even though we are doing that uh, because we are fooled by, by their uh, enthusiasm, uh, sooner or later it gets back to the project and does the infographics, which I, um, I think I forgot to link here. So I will just very, uh, quickly uh, link um, here. So it's if you go to our website, it's in uh, news, and you should you should find it um, very easy. We should pro we will probably update these infographics again. So here you have. Um, uh, what's the other one? Yeah. Using Activity Pub for interoperability between uh, other apps like Nextcloud, etc. Yeah. Uh, right now, uh, yeah, no, no problem. Um, yeah, right now we, we, I think we are not using a, a, anything uh, related to the activity pub. But then again, uh, I'm not a hardcore uh, developer. I'm a designer, uh, you know, uh, and I, I, I like uh, my job, and also I uh, help develop uh, some stuff, but always uh, on the visual side of the question, right? So. That's great to have enterprise input in the open source software. Yeah, I think so. That's that's amazing, and that's why I'm I, I work at um, at Collabora because I really like the the you know the the goal and uh, and even the motto of, of of the company itself. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm really bad with time, so probably it's already past the Q and A uh, time. I don't know. Uh, maybe can someone can tell me. <laughs> um, yeah, so if not, uh, it's fine for the time. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Uh, okay, thanks for answering. I still believe that the uh, app has some huge potential. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah, ah, activity. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I, myself, uh, individual, like, in, in a person, in a personally, um, like uh, between my person communi personally communications, I, I do use that, um, you know, via Plume or some other stuff I used to write uh, or communicate. Which, uh, oh, many questions now, that's nice. Uh, which is your tool for designing? Which software do you use? So I use, uh, looking at favorites, yeah. So I use uh, Inkscape, um, GIMP, um, Krita as well. Uh, but I also, and since again, uh, it goes back to this eating your own food. So for instance, uh, even the infographics you, you, I just shared uh, and many other things. Um, I actually try to work in, uh, in in a way that it fits these workflows in a way that uh, other uh, team members can uh, can see and can collaborate with me. So, for instance, if I do some icons or some specific asset in um, in uh, Inkscape, I will then uh, uh, embed them either in Impress or in some you know or or so we can all communicate like this. Uh, but yeah, this is probably my uh, my main tools of design. Of course, I, there is also other tools that are not specifically for uh, interface. Um, yeah, that I personally use as well sometimes, like Symfy, um, you know, Caden Live. Yeah, basically. Uh, let's. I need to go back. Um, Which is your two? Ah, it's the same person. Okay. If there is other questions and you can add anything you want, nice. Um, in the version I have, Arabic and Indian are not well. So, oh, sorry, I should read out loud. In the version I have of LibreOffice, Arabic and Indian are not well supported. Is it something that has been improved already? 
uh, talking about Arabic and in the uh, Unicode, Unicode scripts. Yes, uh, to be honest, I'm clueless. <laughs> I'm clueless regarding that uh, specific topic. Uh, sorry, I cannot help you. Um, uh, that's why Collaborashare SVG, do you collaborate with other gra graphists? Graph, I bet graphic designers. Um, with SVG file, if yes, how? Mm, I'm not sure I, I understood the question. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, you know, like if in, in if I can do, imagine there is something I can do like the infographics, I could do everything. I could do that, that, that document completely in Inkscape, it would be okay. I could even do it if if I wanted to be really precise, I could, oh yeah, Scarabus, I forgot to mention that I use Scarabus and Blank. But uh, I could do it in Scarabus, but these tools might, uh, might have an entry level a little bit uh, higher for other people that are not uh, designers. Um, yeah, so with that in mind, um, for instance, using the infographics example, I prefer to use some some tools like Inkscape to do, for instance, some uh, icons, some some assets, and then I I end up to do the rest of the the whole infographics, even using using layers and stuff in uh, Draw. Right. So if you have LibreOffice installed, you can you can, and if you never try uh, Draw, and give it a go. Uh, it's getting better. Um, so so yeah. Basically, Inkscape is SVG, right? Ah, yeah, like actually, uh, there was a one another big topic I want to talk in my presentation. And again, I didn't have time to discuss, which was the beauty of open formats, right? Uh, the beauty of, uh, you know, you are working in, in, in Inkscape uh, and SVG suddenly because it's SVG, you can, uh, you know, have this uh, integration with another tool, let, let's say, Impress, you know, you you are using in Impress, but because we are using ODF, we are still using open formats. So you know, all these um, all these um, easy way to integrate. Uh, it's it's really nice, and it's due to the use of open formats. So so that's why um, yeah, that's why I love them, and that's why I work like that. Having some spare time now, so watching a bit of the Q and A. Nice, <laughs> enjoy. Um, yeah, like basically, and yeah, one of the workflows uh, I was going to talk, and I also didn't have time for it, was um, was. Let me see. I'm checking my my own presentation. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so uh, it was uh, a business offer, right? So imagine uh, you um, you are a designer, someone pays you to do a, um, a nice template or a nice document, whatever that be, uh, like for instance, let's imagine a business offer. And uh, you know, the, the difference between fiction and reality, uh, you know, that on one uh, side of the spectrum, you as a designer can, th you might think like, okay, I will just design this in some of my regular, um, my regular design tools I use, uh, and then I will just send. But the problem is that probably uh, that, um, you know what, I could just share my, uh, <laughs> I could just share what I didn't present very quickly if I have time. Um, so suddenly I'm completely, uh, in, I'm going against any uh, protocol, so sorry. So the, yes, please, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do it. So if the, the organizers don't let me, or let you can just let me know. So how I share. Um, I think I want to share a presentation, and I want to share this. Yes, share. Nice. So uh, so I hope. Do you see my uh, screen? Yes, beautiful. So that's what I was talking, right? So you have a business offer, uh, probably um, more people will be involved. Uh, it's less technical of, of, thing to, of a thing to create, uh, but it will be probably not used 
uh, one time, right? But multiple times, meaning that probably your client or your customer will probably uh, use that uh, as, as, a, as, a, um, as a template, um, right? And this can be really a recipe for disaster <laughs> if you didn't design uh, since the beginning thinking that needs to be flexible, thinking that it will be used as a template. Uh, so if it's going to be a template, why not simply uh, you know, use a, a, an office suite for it. You know, instead of uh, using your own specific design tools, yes, you can do still the icons. You can still do some ornaments in your, you know, in your favorite um, uh, vector graphic um, tool or or bitmap tool, be that Inkscape, GIMP, whatever. Um, but then why not use an uh, office suite that you can really uh, design it um, the way you want it and then even um, have the, 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 the possibility to, to have all these advanced features as we saw just by using uh, a browser. Um, you know, I have, <laughs> sorry, I have here uh, some Portuguese community talking with me. So um, why not ha using a, uh, an office suite um, that allows you to use templates? not only personal templates per user, but depending on the integration you use and depending on your uh, storage solution, uh, even using global templates so every user can, can have access to, to that. So this will, would probably facilitate the, 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 the work of your client in the future, uh, but to even make this uh, ongoing conversation. Yeah? So you'd like so much this experience, you'll probably ask you again to do uh, the same thing. Um, and there is a technical thing, I will not go into it, I don't have time. Uh, and, and of course, you have always the possibility to export to many formats. And I'm really, really happy, not only, of course, with ODF, with the Microsoft formats, that if, if you need them, but I'm really happy that you can very easily, with one click, export to PDF, that many people really want that. Um, and EPUB, and EPUB, it's, EPUB is, is a really huge uh, deal. Um, I really like it, especially for some businesses. Um, so that's it, yeah, I went really fast um, in this workflow. I have an, another one, but I think that's it. Uh, I think that's probably uh, much, yeah, probably enough. Um, so yeah, yeah, so I managed to, to include that last workflow. So I think, um, I think that's all. I really, I really like to, you know, to be able to talk with you, you know, even though we cannot meet in person, which kind of uh, sucks. I really liked how it was, for instance, in the, in the previous year. Um, but yeah, I think it went okay. And I, I really liked that you had a lot of questions. Um, so yeah, so I guess, uh, thanks. And, you know, uh, have a good lunch if you are going to eat now. Um, and, you know, and uh, I hope you are okay, wherever, you know, that you, I hope you are okay, especially uh, regarding with this COVID-19 situation and that your familiars are okay. And I hope it will get better soon, you know, as we could meet soon. Okay, so that's it. Bye.